How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 Ooh, once again. A couple of weeks ago I did a video on Forza Horizon 4 remaking my motorbike in game. What we did is we took all of the stats and statistics and specs of my real life motorbike and tried to accurately make it into a car in game and we did really well. We got the power to rate ratio spot on, the colour was correct, the number of cylinders in the engine. It, it, it was just really good accurate representation, the acceleration was similar as well. Now, obviously one of the main details to get the speed correct to a motorbike was to get the power to rate ratio or the brake horsepower per tonne correct. And that was quite fun to do and it's made me think recently, what car in Forza Horizon 4 has the biggest power to rate ratio out of any car in the game. I want to have a look through some of the cars in Forza Horizon 4, fully upgrade them, give them the most horsepower possible to see if we can find a ridiculously high brake horsepower per tonne car. The chances of me finding the very car that has the best power to rate ratio in the game is quite slim, but I think we'll get pretty close. I like doing little sciencey type things like this, so I think I'm going to take on the task of finding the very car which has the most horsepower per tonne in the game. Now, just a quick explanation if, doesn't, if people don't know what brake horsepower per tonne means. Brake horsepower obviously means horsepower, everyone knows what horsepower is, and a tonne is a thousand kilograms. So we can see this car here, it weighs about a thousand kilograms and it has 300 horsepower. So this car, very simple, it has 300 horsepower per ton or 343 horsepower per ton. But this car here, it weighs half a ton, which means we can double the weight to get up to a ton, which means we double the horsepower. 668 horsepower for 500 kilograms would mean 1,200 horsepower if it weighed 1,000 kilograms. So this car would have 1,300 horsepower per ton, or about that. So we're trying to find the car in the game that has so much horsepower compared to so little weight. Let's start off with the Koenigsegg Regera. It has 1,500 horsepower and it weighs 1,361 kilograms. The Koenigsegg Regera has 1,102 horsepower per ton. Now that is mental. Anything over a thousand horsepower per ton is just ridiculous. My motorbike, I think, had about 600, and motorbikes are obviously fast at accelerating. Let's say we found a car with a thousand horsepower, but only weighed 500 kilograms, that would give it 2,000 horsepower per ton. So that's what we're going to be looking for. Let's start with the super, super light cars. Now, believe it or not, I think the Peel P50 may be one of the cars that have the highest. So we'll drop down the PLP50 and we'll have a look at that. The Honda Civic RS, that's another possibility. That weighs quite a bit, but we'll be able to get some weight reduction on it. I'm gonna have a quick look through all of these cars, get some names down, and then we're gonna go upgrading and see what we can do. I've picked out some really, really light cars that I'm hoping we can give a ton of horsepower. We've got the Reliant Superfan, the Lotus 11, the Jeep, the Honda Civic RS, the Giulia TZ2, and the Alpha 33 Stradale. We're gonna start with this Alfa Romeo here. I'm not gonna show you most of the upgrades. I'm just gonna jump kind of straight to the end, to the finished results, to see what we can get. Ah, now straight away, I know this one is out of the question because there's not a good enough engine to get around a thousand horsepower. So we've gotta ditch this one. What about the Alpha 33 Stradale? Also not got many engine swaps either. That's going to be a load of rubbish. Still a lot of hope, there's still a lot of hope. What else do we have? The Honda Civic RS. Now this, I believe, is already fully upgraded and the Honda Civic RS has 1,016 horsepower and only weighs 779 kilograms, which gives us 1,304 horsepower per tonne. 1,300 is currently the one to beat. However, I'm pretty confident we're gonna smash that for sure. The Lotus 11, this thing is super light, but we're going to have to rely on a big engine swap here. 400 kilograms. That is unbelievable. Not as much horsepower as I'd hoped for. So the Lotus 11 has 775 horsepower, but only weighs 472 kilograms, which gives us a number of 1,640 horsepower per tonne. That's mental. 
So far, this is the winner, but I'm pretty sure we may get even higher than that. The Reliant Supervan is already fully upgraded. That's got 668 horsepower and it's got 452 kilograms, which gives us 1,477 horsepower per ton. Not quite beating the Lotus. Let's try out the Jeep, because if I'm not mistaken, you can put a lot of horsepower in this Jeep. Oh dear, the V12 is in this one. Oh boy. Seems like rear wheel drive is obviously going to save some weight, so we'll pop that on. 1,356 horsepower with 807 kilograms. That's 1,680 horsepower per ton. Oh, I thought it'd be higher than that. Ooh, ooh, mm, I don't know. I've put the other V12 engine in it, and now it's got 1,515 horsepower, but it weighs 910 kilograms. That's 1,664. Hmm. Trying out this Ford Anglia here. That's not going to cut it at all. We've still got ones to try. I want to try the Maserati now. Nope, another turbo rally. Wow, they've really cut down on the engine swaps of this game. Okay, this may be another one. We've got the Donker Bort, which is the coolest sounding car ever. If this car has weight reduction, it does. This could be promising. Up 775. 491 kilograms. No, the Donkervort is still just under 1,600. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through a load of different things. I'm going to speed up the video, speeding through upgrading them, and then leaving the results, the brake horsepower torque per ton on the screen. I'm not going to talk through many of it, but we're going to get through as many cars as possible and get the final brake horsepower per ton figure from that car to see if we can beat the previous Jeep that we had a look at. Because I don't think we're going to beat it, but we need to look at every car possible, so let's go through them now and have a ganders. The figure we need to beat is 1,680 horsepower per ton, which is what the other Jeep managed to get. Not this one on screen, obviously. Right, boys, I think that's it. As you saw, we just went through loads of different cars and just had a look at them all just for the final figure. We went through three Alphas, which didn't reach 1,600. Austin Healey, just because it weighs so less. Um, the Caterham, the Donkervort, Ferrari F50 GT. Some of these I didn't try and record, but all of these are on the favourites I tried. The Lancia tried that, didn't have a good enough engine swap. The Lola the Porsche as well, wherever that is, this as well. 
basically this screen is just full of very light cars and we had a look at them you've just seen the results and none of them got close to the 1680 horsepower per ton that this jeep renegade managed 1000 nearly 1700 horsepower per ton this car has that's its equivalent it doesn't weigh a ton 800 kilograms what a light car and it's got just under 1400 horsepower as well so that's pretty mental you can tell it's not supposed to have this much power, it really isn't. And believe it or not, I actually chose this car because I know it has the V12 engine swap and it's not actually the V12 that we ended up using, which is quite bizarre. Ooh, I tell you what, I was expecting this car to just be undrivable and not have brilliant acceleration, but wait, was that actually wheel spinning in sixth gear then? <laughs> it wheel spins in sixth gear. That's when you know it's got a lot of power behind it and doesn't weigh that much. Oh, 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 spinning out. Whoa, what a mental car. As I was saying, you lads, if you can do this yourself and see if you can find one that will beat this when it comes to the power to rate ratio, I'm not sure if you will, because honestly, I tried every car I could think of, but you never know, I might have missed one somewhere. I don't think there are any tunes on the market actually that have the same power to rate ratio as mine, which is interesting. No one's upgraded the car like this. If any of you can think of any other like sciencey type videos you want me to do, please let me know in the comment section below because I like doing this. It took me a while to go through them all and it took me a while to edit them all as you can probably tell. But oh, it drifts quite nicely. But it was pretty cool to come up with quite a strange result. I didn't think the Jeep would be the one to take the podium. The F1 GT certainly doesn't cut it. I even tried decreasing the weight of the Aventador um, Forza Edition. Even that didn't have it either. Nothing got higher power to weight than this car here, which surprisingly drifts pretty well. Wow. If any of you are going to try this, then I recommend doing it a bit differently how I did. Instead of finding really light cars, find cars that are about 900 kilograms and try decreasing the weight with rear wheel drive swap and weight reduction. Try doing it that way. But anyway, boys, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later.